modest lifestyle welcome back to the channel welcome back guys if you are new here my name is modesta please do well to join the family if you haven't and to my returning subscribers the modest nation i see you all thank you for your massive love and support it's a reaction video <laughs> Made it to the table. Of course, you know. If you know, you know. Haba, what is this? The Marowas are on this table. In fact, anybody in that village, fellow the boy, might be getting the stray bullet. Was was. It will be flying all over Iyabohanza Street. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Lazy people everywhere. Grab whatever that is grabbable. I've got my water here. Yes. Grab your own. Grab your garlic, your tea, your fufu, your fruits, your red wine. Grab your woman. Grab your man. Grab your wife. Grab your husband. Let's get this gist started. And as you are grabbing someone, tell that person to hit that red button. Yes. Don't watch and walk away. This ministry must be on. You must get to the permanent side. Amen. <laughs> yes, guys, let's get started. Where do we even start? Let's start from I am Maru. Okay. There was this video they shared. Okay. We're going to watch it and take it from there. Paul, you I know. You, my card. you forgot your card? Yeah. I need to go get it. Hey, hey, can you can, hold can on a second? Just, please? Yeah. To I have me. to go upstairs and, uh, and get a card. If you get this card. card. Yeah. And I'm the funny sorry. thing is I was out. Yeah, go you, go you go go me. quick. I'll go. Be right back. Oh, there's a car? Yeah. Sorry, just no, okay. careful. Yeah. Alright, be right back. Okay. Let him take a card. No problem. The funny thing is uh, I had forgotten also my card, guys. When I was speaking, he was seeing me pick it. Then funny enough he forgot his card. Meet a stingy man. What do you think, guys? Tell me what you think about this video. I cannot overlook this one. <laughs> Guess what? I've not said it recently that I am Marwa doesn't like to spend money on anything. <laughs> so for him to see Marwa as someone who doesn't like to spend money, that will tell you that he purposely forgot his card, thinking that. Since Marwa got his own card, because Marwa forgot his card, later picked it, okay? And Ivan again said he forgot his. Guess what happened? Ivan wanted to use reverse psychology on I am Marwa. And Marwa was carrying him. Go, go. <laughs> Marwa was telling him, go, go, go. Go, 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 go get your card. Be careful. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan, how many times did I call you, Ivan? <laughs> don't start, don't start waiting. You're not going to finish. <laughs> Ivan, don't start waiting. <laughs> Funny video in my entire life. <laughs> like a comedy. Guys, this is like a comedy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody you reminded to get his card. You forgot your card. <laughs> yeah. Ivan, you enter one chance. You said you are from Cameroon. I doubt it. Guys, drop in the comment section and let me know because this Ivan, I'm using one eye to look this Ivan. My boss is American. I mean African American. I know how they talk. If you have been to US, even if it's 50 years, I know a lot of Nigerians that have been in US for more than 20 years. When they talk, no matter how polished their English is, no matter how they are good with this American accent, you can still pick that this person did not grow up in America. 
I advanced last year, so I am Marowa because they started collaborating last year. Okay, this is not their first time of meeting. They met last year a year ago, and this is the second time. The same with Sultan. So that last year, the video they did together, the guys, I don't have time. You need to go research because this Akroko job is not only for me. Let's see people everywhere. You people should also go and look for that video, okay? Because I didn't have time to start editing and putting it up here. Yeah. So last year, Ivan told Marowa that he has been in US for 20 years, okay? This year, he's saying 25. So from last year to this year, is it five years or one year? Or maybe it's an oversight. Maybe it's a slip of tongue. I don't know. Because looking at his accent, his accent is pure, 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 pure American, like black American, like those people that were born and bred in America, those blacks that have never been to Africa. Let's even say that Ivan has been to US 20 years. Now he's saying 20, 25. We don't know which one. But let's even say 20 years ago, okay? Ivan is in US for 20 years now. Would that make somebody who speaks French to sound this American? I'm confused, really. Because if you look at his IG again, he has never been to Cameroon. Maybe it's his choice. Maybe because when he moved to US, he decided to cut off anything that has to do with Africa. Maybe because of our bad government, insecurity, other, other issues that we have. Mm, we know it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why, because he has traveled a lot, I must say. He started traveling far, far back. I saw even 2019, 2018, he was in Colombia, he was in Asia, he was there, like going to places. That's why he could come and brainwash us to tell us that this is the main reason why he's not yet married or he's not with any woman. Dude, dude, hmm. <laughs> Don't start what you cannot finish. Marwa, if you are watching him very well, you're supposed to know Marwa by now. Especially now that you are hosting him for the second time. And how come your apartment last year is still looking the same? And if you check his IG posts, lazy people everywhere. Hey, lazy people, the way you guys like uh, this gossip. Eh? Hey, if you check Ivan's IG, you will not see anything about that apartment. To me, that apartment looks like Airbnb. Something that is arranged because Ogamarawa is coming. Because this dude wants to grow his channel. And Ivan said that he's a real estate agent. I doubt it, I doubt it 100%. I doubt that this guy is a real estate agent. 100, 100, 100%. If he is a real estate agent, an application like IG, Instagram, he should be able to talk about it. I mean, he should be able to promote his business, promote his real estate business, isn't it? Ivan, I don't think he sells property. In my own opinion, no. maybe he knows someone that is into real estate. And this cousin of yours, Ivan, Marwa, hey, as soon as you are marinated, with Marowa, as soon as you mix yourself in the midst of Marowa, your life will never be the same. And that is why English Ade says, best of the seven feathers, flock together. Tell me your friend that I will tell you who you are. You can imagine, right from the airport, them showing us big bunny, big teddy, that Sultan claimed that this teddy is to attract women. How can that kind of big teddy attract women? Something that will scare women away, actually. Because it's so big, occupying the whole space. Like, I don't understand. And then they start giving you words, excuses. They start giving you reasons that don't make sense. See, one thing I've come to terms is I have to respect people, respect their culture, respect the way they do their stuff, respect their sexuality. I may agree, I may not agree, I may be happy, I may not be happy, but I don't have any other choice. This, and talking about sexuality, you don't have to come and lie to us like as if we are babies, like as if we are three months old. You throw out these things 
and you think we are not going to digest it and people like us that do reaction you think stuff like this will not raise our eyebrows you think stuff like this will not make us to go like digging digging because we are diggers here mm. and when we dig if we see negative stuff we bring it here and you probably be like oh why is she like this why is she always speaking on my favorites why is she always talking about marua because when we go like this all we see is negativity and we have to because it's our job it will be somehow for us to come here and start talking from one side of our mouth. You got majority of people that watch us, they know the truth. You get what I mean? So if you are not saying the truth, if it's coming out as if you are scared or whatever, they know. So you don't have to come and defend yourself that you are into, if you are a man, you are into a man, if you are a woman, you are into a woman, or you are both. You don't have to come and defend all that but don't come and be lying because when you lie especially this lie this lie is the one that is killing me in person in is killing me in particular you rather do what keep quiet like you rather keep quiet like Ivan's cousin hey this cousin guys now i'm not, in fact everything about this ivan i'm questioning everything guys i'm very very sorry he's a very lovely person he's very very outspoken he sounds like he's a cool person he sounds like a nice person you can see in fact if i'm going to choose between ivan and marua of course i will choose ivan because looking at him he seems a nice person but everything about him i'm questioning it Black Beauty was telling me, no, 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 babe, don't do like this. This is his cousin now. You are starting, you know. This is his cousin. He doesn't speak English now. Babe, why are you doing this? Someone that just came from Cameroon. I said, okay, if Ivan, who came to America 20 years, can adjust and adapt to American system and be speaking like Americans, like speaking like black Americans, like core black, no, in fact, I will even say that the more he's trying to sound like he's not American, the more I'm even seeing it. His intonation is everything. Sometimes when he's talking, it's as if it's my boss that is talking to me. You know? I don't know which state Ivan is, but he sounds like my boss, like completely. I've never been to US, but this is my own observation. I might be wrong. This is my own opinion. Drop your own in the comment section. Don't come and judge Coco Mama. Uh -huh. We are all free. You see this opinion, we carry it like handbag. As I carry my own, come in front of the camera, they talk. Um, you carry your own, enter comment section. Yes, enter there, drop it. Wutu, wutu. Nothing mega. We are in a free world. We have freedom of speech. We know kill person. Now opinion we give. Now our mind we talk. Yes, we know kill anybody. So, Ivan's cousin, I was arguing with BB, our CEO. I told Black Beauty, I said, how can you tell me that for more than one year, this guy has never learned English? When there's conversation going anywhere, this Ivan carry him like a handbag anywhere he is going. Even when he's going on a date with his friend that came from Ishibanya, his friend that just landed from Iyabohaze village, I am Marwa. Even when Marwa went to meet other people, this Ivan is always with this his cousin. This his cousin doesn't have work he's doing in America since last year. And whenever he's sitting, he's sitting as if he doesn't talk. He is just sitting, either sitting on his phone. He will not say A, he will not say B, he will not contribute. Even if he is not a talking type, there should be at least something we should hear his voice at least. Even when they picked Marwa at the airport, he was there, he was standing outside, just standing like that. Ivan is the one talking. I've the one is the one suggesting. I've, I've I, Ivan is the one suggesting. I've Ivan is the one asking questions. Ivan is the one answering questions. What is this? You guys should tell me in the comment section because this cousin cousin of a thing. You know when you come and be lying like this, you don't know that there's somebody who knows you. When your nyash will open. Nobody should come and tell us that we should mind our business so. Because I don't tell you people say that 2030, I will try to mind my business. Yes, after seven years, I will try working on minding my business. As long as we are still in this 2023, 
I'm not going to mind my business. So anything that comes across me here, I will shoot my mouth. I will not drink water to mind my business. I will not drink water to mind my business. I will drink water to nourish myself. I will drink water to hydrate myself. I will drink water so that my blood will be flowing nicely. Yes. I will drink water so that my skin will be popping for you guys. I'm not going to drink water and mind my business. So, Ivan, I'm sorry for you. You are with a stingy guy. You sound like you are stingy because there's something you said. We are coming to that one. There's a statement that he made and I said, Kalas, Ivan, Kalas. You have already given me an answer that I'm looking for. You have already told me the kind of a man you are. Any man that will come and tell a woman, since you are working, I am working, it's okay if you go on a date because America is expensive, New York is expensive, you must pay. Huh? <laughs> Any man that sounds like that is a stingy man. No. I am sorry. It's not done like that. Do you know what a date means? It that means that as a woman that I am, I am on my own, you approach me. Except if I'm the one that approach you as a woman and be like, hey, if I'm the woman, if I'm a woman that comes and be like, hey, dude, I think I like you. Uh -huh. If you ask me to sponsor my own meal, mm -hmm. first date, and because I'm working and the man is working, we must share the bills. Hey, Ivan, you have not seen anything. You see how Barua embarrassed you? Can you see? You see how he is embarrassing you? The first thing you did when you welcomed him is to complain about us. Now he's giving it to you, Wotowoto. Woto. Even telling you that your Airbnb is dirty. Because I still believe that that apartment is not your apartment too. And I still believe that you are not a real estate agent. Because if you are a real estate agent, agent your instagram should say stuff like that we should be able to see some of the property you are selling on your ig but all we see on your ig is you traveling from this state to that state from that continent to that continent except africa why have you not visited your fatherland and guys i even saw his father's picture the picture he had with his father i think his father is late may he so rest in peace i'm sharing it here because he shared it on his IG and he is a YouTuber and he appeared on this picture anyway with his father. His father doesn't look Cameroonian. His name doesn't sound Cameroonian. You guys, why are you guys? In fact, I laugh. You know why I laugh? You see this our niche? You see this reaction niche is the best. It's the best because as I am commenting on other people as i'm pointing out on other stuff that people are doing i'm also watching myself because people will do what people will point the same finger at me and even if they don't point the same finger at me when i'm pointing one or two four fingers are pointing at me try to point one finger at yourself you will see that four fingers are pointing at you so what does that tell you everybody must be on their toes everybody must watch it before you come in front of the camera and start lying like this, Abba, fear God now. You guys should fear God. All these excuses, all these things that you guys are talking. How can you be telling us that you are in America for 20 years and you sound like pure, pure Native Americans? Even your looks sound like that. You are telling us that you are into real estate. We are not seeing anything of that kind. You are not even sharing that on your YouTube. So when do you have time when you are jumping from one continent to the other, from one country to the other? When do you have time to do your real estate business? How can you welcome Marawa to this so-called house of yours for the second time and everything in that apartment remains the same? No changes. The last video they did last year, even the bedroom, everything. And how come Marowa told us that the apartment is so unkept? And this your cousin has been there with you. And your cousin cannot help you to clean it up. Let's say you are busy with your real estate business, which I am in doubt. Because the picture I saw on IG, Ivan is a military guy. Maybe he's already retired, I don't know. 
Mm, that's the picture. That's the idea I got from his IG. Guys, lazy people are not stupid though. You people should stop this. Eh? Ivan, make una stop this thing. Sultan, make una stop it. You carry a big teddy, you are single, and you will come and be lying to us that you are using it to attract women. And then you have 10,000 reasons why you don't want to have a woman. Because you tried to tell your woman to do the right thing. And she picked on it and she said that she's not a baby. You shouldn't talk to her like this. What up are you? You want to control someone's daughter. Is she a girlfriend or a child? It's only your child you can control. As you are expecting a woman to behave certain way, you too also should watch yourself. Mm. It's not one-sided. Let's continue, guys. Sometimes girls will just be on, on a dating app and uh, they'll say, hey, let's meet for lunch. So you pay for lunch. Then she says, okay, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. And you never hear from her. <laughs> that happened to my friend, <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> yeah, no, dating is expensive in New York. Yeah. For sure. Anywhere you go here, if, especially if you're a drinker. Yeah. It's very easy to drop $200 in like no time out here. Wow. Very easy. Wow. So that's the frustration is... You know, it depends on what your expectations are. But at times, yeah. I think if both parties are working, yeah. one thing that men should do more and more is yeah. basically say, let's go Dutch. Okay. Right? Especially if both parties are interested. I know some some, some ladies are going to watch this video and say, well, he's being cheap or whatever. But honestly, yeah. if you guys, if you are interested in each other yeah. and you're both working, why does the man always have to pay for the first date? Yeah, that's a controversial subject, you know, especially first date. Yeah. Me, personally, uh, if it's something I feel chemistry with, I don't mind paying the first date. Yeah. But if I'm in Africa, it's not a question. I am paying. It's cheaper there. Yeah. And but if you come to this place like the US, it's very expensive. Yeah. And another thing also is sometimes other people may think you are despising them for not allowing them to pay. Price for stinginess, it is 2023. These two are so stingy. Ivan has met somebody who passed his own stinginess. <laughs> you never see anything, Ivan. Even your Wi Fi, he will milk you. And why is Ogamarua, guys? Only one video of Ivan is in his community. I think one or two. Dude has deleted all the videos of Ivan that he shared. Maybe because Ivan is done. <laughs> Like you want to use my subscribers, you don't want to give me money. <laughs> Probably Barwa was like, How can you be using me like this? And you don't want me to use you. Eh? I'm sharing you, and you are getting your subscriber. Subscriber count is going like voom, 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 like this. Views is going so high. And now, if you check Marwa's community post, guys, go. I'm not lying. You will only find one or two videos of Ivan, but I know very, very well that ever since they started collaborating, he has shared more than two videos. And it's only two videos that are there. How come? <laughs> this Marwa knows exactly what he's doing. He's, he's not ready to give you cash, but he will give you fame. But be careful, guys, if you are collecting fame from Marwa. Because as he gives you the subscribe, if you offend him tomorrow, he will carry his subscribe. tomorrow tomorrow today he gives you subscribers let's say he says guys let's give the 1000 subscribers guys we can do it if he gives you 1000 today you offend him tomorrow he's coming back to collect it <laughs> he's coming back to his audience to tell and his audience he knows he knows he got his audience he knows how to talk how he will keep his face all the body language and people will pity him for real this guy is up to something. You know this this Marwa. First time I'm agreeing with him. Marwa made a point here. Marwa said, if it's a first date and he has chemistry, he has feelings, that butterfly is there. You wouldn't mind paying. You see, not when you have money, you will go on a date, okay? 
And in Africa, it's obvious, obvious, because we don't understand this thing that Americans are doing. You know. A woman must pay. First date, I'm on my own. You are the one approaching me, and I must still pay. Eh? If we have kicked it out, if we have rolled it out, we have known each other, maybe we're already like three months. It doesn't matter. You take care of me, I will take care of you. You scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. It's a win-win. Because at the end of the day, as you are enjoying the man, the man should enjoy you as well. I don't believe that a woman should nail down a man. Mm -mm. But that first date, whether New York is expensive like nothing else, you should close your eyes and pay. It looks better. It's more sexy, guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section, except Americans. So we don't want to hear opinions of Americans in this particular matter. I'm talking about non-Americans. Tell me what you think. Because I know Americans, I know all these lazy people from US, I know they will be like, yeah, why not? Since you have money, I have money. Since we like each other, why not? You should pay. So first time I'm agreeing with this Ogamarua from what he said. Coming to Ivan, that is so cheap. First time you're asking a girl, you asked me for a date. Like you are the one that called, you are the one that showed interest. Except if it's the lady that showed interest. In that case, a man can do a yanga, what we call a yanga. A man can do whatever he feels like doing. Because after all, it's the girl that wants him. Not the other way around. Yeah. So I was laughing. I've never seen a very funny video like this one. These two are something else. They made my day when I watched this. Yes, Ivan is a cool guy, like I said, but he has so many comma. This guy moving around with him since last year. Him claiming that he's single because he travels a lot. He doesn't want to keep a woman. What about McWayne's? The biggest of them all on this space. He's a YouTuber. He travels like nothing else, but he's always traveling with his wife. He's also American. I think his wife is from Thailand. What about other people? Hmm? What about the mayor that travels? Even this Marawa that is planning to get married, he travels. And still, he wants not one, he wants four. But Toga Marawa, stop making fool of yourself, okay? If you want to have four wives, start from one. Is it not when you count one, then you go to two, three, four? You've not even gotten one. And there's something when they called prayer. Prayer said something to this guy. Prayer said that she would want to meet Marwa. She's missing Marwa, kind of. But Marwa gave her condition, which is marriage. And Marwa was trying to force her into agreeing to marry him. Marwa, you don't force a woman yourself. You don't throw you don't push a woman to accept you because if you push that woman that woman will give you condition and there will always be problem in that kind of marriage obvious obvious you should let a woman want you as you want the woman if it's one-sided is a big no-no it's a sign that it will never work because it means that there's something the person sees in you that is not letting her fall for you okay yeah ivan sultan don't get me wrong guys i'm not picking on you guys sexuality but you guys should stop lying you guys should stop it you guys should stop giving us all this yeah yeah yeah, yeah excuses that you are giving us i'm not picking on anybody's sexuality no 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 i dare my lane so dare your lane be doing your own thing it's between you and your god yes guys let's move to the Virginia. Hmm. Yes, you guys heard it from the Virginia. The Virginia is a car owner. The Virginia got a new car. I saw the picture. I said, What? There you go. Hard work, do what pays. It's a good thing to spoil yourself. Okay? I don't have any problem with that. It's a good thing. It's a beautiful car. Audi. Hey! But there's something on the ground before the Virginia left, okay? You guys remember the lady that gave money to Uncle Mo? Apparently, the reason why Uncle Mo returned that money is because 
Okumo kept that 17,000, expecting the woman to complete it, to make it 25,000. And because the woman was in doubt, then the woman reached out to Carol. That was what happened. I don't know where Okumo generated the receipt of 25,000. He shared. Probably that receipt came from the invoice. Maybe they printed out the invoice of that 25,000 WC and gave to Okumo so that Okumo will show the proof. Because later on, I came to realize that he did not even buy it. That's why he returned the money. So after that, he came and he was very, very mad. He was very rude to reactors, rude to some of his subscribers, okay? Some of his fans, people that support him. Anyway, let's address some comments, okay? So this person said, your viewers must be reminded again that it has been 48 hours plus and Davi needs to adequately address the issue of donators' money. You have been preaching accountability on your channel from the beginning and we are still waiting for that video. You have left on Kumo. You indeed mishandled the case. He shamed and named reactors and donors on his live videos a few days ago with pure no clue of future repatriation of his words. Exactly, this person spoke my mind. David Jr., after what Okumo did, which I know that David Jr., for sure, for sure, is behind it. Because someone else told me that, Coco Mama, why Okumo insulted you is because someone told Okumo that I am involved with this case. That's why Okumo was like, I don't know Modesta. Who is that Modesta? I don't know her. She's following me. I don't know her. So you see, the Virginia, after all that drama, and you can see that Mo actually caused more harm than fixing the problem because returning the money doesn't make any sense. The lady questioned why you wanted more money. So what you're supposed to address is, I wanted more money because I noticed A, B, C, D from the original plan. And another point that the lady stressed out is that she wanted you to do a video call when you went to that shop. And all these people saying that, oh, whatever money that you give away, you shouldn't bother about it. Always give money that you will not regret giving out. And when you give out money, don't come back and do this. Don't come back and question. It's not done like that. When you give out money, there's something you want in that person. Probably if you don't do that, the person might divert the money to something else. You understand? It happened to the same Ogumo. You remember Marwa said that he gave Ogumo some money to start a business. Mo did not start that business. Mo came back and said that this is the reason why he didn't start that business because he felt that he would not do well, butchering business or something. He came back and said he felt that he would not do well. Rather, he started building his house, which he didn't complete with the money. So. That's why when you give out money, you follow up and make sure that whatever made you, whatever that pushed you to give that money to the person is done. So why is David Jr. not coming out now to talk? Rather, we are seeing him with Stella. He was busy spoiling himself. And Stella looks very, very unhappy, even though she was all smiling. But you can see that smile doesn't enter at all. That smile is superficial to me. David Jr. met Stella as if, you know, Stella forced that to happen. But when David Jr. was with the other lady, you can see that David Jr. is more free. They were even like approaching like as if they were going to David Jr.'s place. But when David Jr. met Stella Muilva, they met at the shop where David Jr. was spoiling himself, like as if nothing happened. But you can see very clearly that, obviously, obviously, the Virginia may have told Onkumo to go live and then he will pretend like he's a soft guy. You have to come out and address this. You have to come out and talk about this because people are hurt. Especially if you have not done anything and somebody will just come and throw insult at you. It hurts, you know. And someone else said, Davi, please make good choice with girls. Not impressed with the toss one. No, that uh, the person is saying that she's not impressed with uh, seeing Davi Jr. with another girl. And 
just seeing Stella for a while in the shop and then walking home with this other girl. He introduced to his channel a few weeks back, okay? And don't like David Junior. You see this collaboration he had with Stella Moyeva. He would have dropped this video on his community. But unlike him, and I heard somebody else saying that, no, 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 that Virginia is not in any relationship with any of them. He said it that they are just friends. Okay, if he said it that they are just friends, when Stella was leaving Yabuhanse, why did the Virginia ask Stella if she can be his girlfriend? Are they playing with our minds or what? What do you guys take us for? Yeah? Say what you mean and mean what you say. After asking Stella that question, that intimate question, whether Stella will be his girlfriend. You guys will come back and say that the Virginia said that they are just friends. And even Congress power shouting, come back and when you come back, don't leave. Do you just see a stranger and you just tell the person to come back to your home? A mature man like that. Somebody else said that maybe Stella was too demanding. Remember GoPro camera incident. Because after that GoPro, camera incident. We didn't see Stella appearing on David's community after that. And remember another incident where Stella was saying that Marwa actually is the type. Remember when again Stella said that Marwa is her type, like Marwa is actually the kind of a man that she wants, probably because of money. What do you think? So, the Virginia might be seeing what he's not supposed to see. Maybe Stella is becoming over demanding. We don't know what happened between them. But that is by the way. So, what we are saying, the Virginia, be a man and come out and address this. Even if you have been accused of something, all you need to do is to come and speak your truth. That is even when you should come out and make it clear to everybody. And how can you be talking account accountability? How can you be saying that? Oh, I'm going to come out and share everything when you are already moving on with your life in Nairobi. So when are you going to share it? Are you going to share it when the viewers have started making drama? Because there's another post I saw somewhere in someone's community. And this person was like, Uncle Mo begged me to buy cake for him. I inboxed him to wish him happy birthday. And he came back begging for cake. So why is he now acting after everything that the donors have done? Now he's growing wings. Now he's acting like everything is okay for him because his house is fixed. He should remain humble as he was before. Why acting up now? Okay, so if he's going to return everything, then it means that that house will be demolished. If somebody will just question you because you ask for more money, which your nephew refused to come out and clear. Rather, he's spoiling himself. I'm not going to be like, oh, the Virginia used Uncle Mo's money to buy a car. Or the Virginia used Congress Grandpa's money, donation that he raised there to buy a car. That is not why I am here. It's between him and his God. If you guys remember, I've said this before. If you are going to donate, go direct to the person. Because he who wears a shoe knows where he's pinching. I said it very, very clear. I've been saying stuff like this, even though Mo, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know who, but I, of course I know. I won't even lie, I know. I know what is going on. Because they know the direction that I'm going. Of course they, 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 of course they will not let Mo see these things. They will try to convince Mo that I'm against the family. I want to bring the wish up to the family. But it's up to them. In fact, it's up to anybody to judge this matter. But I must always come out here and speak my mind, regardless, no matter what. I appreciate that Virginia, he is initiative, but that does not mean that he should not give account. That does not mean that people, a lot of people, are still coming up with some evidences that they sent money for this, they didn't see it done. They sent this money, they did not even... Guys, if you remember about two weeks ago, I said to Uncle Mo that whoever that gives you money, except if the person says, please keep it as anonymous, you don't need to come out and say it. You guys remember, don't be doing things like this. Oh, we're going to give account. Imagine 
Some people are still defending that Virginia that he said that he's going to bring receipts. The receipts are there, but why are you guys piling it up? It's making things more complicated. Because when you pile it up like that, it's as if you're hiding something. If somebody who has offered to make your life better says, if you get there, take a video call. Is there anything bad? Okay, Uncle Mo was complaining that the network was not good. But when he found out that Carol brought everything out, network came to the same shop. Is this one not double standard? And Carol was not even attacking Uncle Mo. Carol was trying to say that somebody is behind this. Somebody is behind this. Because when Mo went to find out the price of that WC, the Virginia was not there. But when Mo called the lady to ask for more money, the Virginia was there. And your name is flying everywhere like this. All you could do is to go and do your dreads and feel like maybe people are hating you because you are growing on YT and making money and da da da. It's not nice. Receipts are there. Before, before you guys knew that before he left the village, you're supposed to sort out these things. And now I know why exactly he was rushing everything. He was rushing everything because obviously he didn't want to spend all the money. He didn't want to let people question these things. That's why he wanted to close everything. Don't understand. Enough is enough. Whether it's done properly or not, whether we have done the ones we have done, let we just let's just close this chapter. Let me move and focus on my life. It's not done like that. Whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. That is the way to do things. You don't just do things anyhow because you can do it or because you feel that that person is vulnerable. You feel you can use that person. I keep saying it and I will say it again. Let David Junior come out and prove these things to me. Uncle Mo started his YouTube channel before Mayoguno. Mayoguno channel is monetized. Why? Ogamarua is behind this. And guys, let me tell you another thing that this Ogamarua is saying. Remember Mayoguno came and said, Oh, they are abusing me. They are abusing me. Marua is behind that video. Marua is the one that told Mayoguno to come and complain to his subscribers. So that my Uno, so that my Uno will now be a victim and the reactors will now be troublesome people that just pick on poor boy, poor street boy that is trying to build himself. Marwa is using my Uno big time, even though Marwa is in US. Because there's this work that fellow the boy is doing now. There's this lady that fellow the boy is trying to help. Marwa sends my Uno to go. And hijack everything and this is the same my Uno that will come and be preaching i focus on my work i don't try to do corner corner i don't try to look to other people i don't try to make problem with other people so why are you now behind fellow the boy you guys should leave fellow the boy alone he is 150 times better than you guys he is doing much much better than you guys you and your boss you better focus. Maybe you have collected all the donations. Focus and build your house and leave fellow the boy alone and his work. You want to do charity work, you can do it on your own channel. Why running after fellow the boy? You think we will not get all this information, even though fellow the boy will keep quiet. You don't know that people around him now are coming out. In fact, I'm laughing at uh, Marwa that says that, oh, it's only West Africans that attack us. His people... His people, if we open things that we are getting every day here, this whole street will scatter. But I know why I'm keeping these things. This whole street will scatter. Guys, if we start sharing the information that is coming out from the same Yabuhansa street, this same street, this same streets where witches and wizards are operating day and night, and at the same time they come out and tell their huge audience that these women are evil, witches and wizards. Meanwhile, they are practicing it, like there's proof and evidence that they are into witches and wizards, apart from Michelle Ponte saying it. The evidence is there. If we come out and start sharing it here, some people will run away from YouTube. We don't want to do that. Let's just be keeping it on a cruise level. Let's just keep these things on a cruise level. We're coming here 
making small jokes, laughing, learning one or two things here and there. Let's just keep it like that. David Junior, you must come out and clear your name. David Junior, why didn't you do all this account before you went to Nairobi? Why are you running so fast? Is it on Kumo that you are expecting to run all those accounts that you piled up like that? Oh, I'm going to do account. Oh, I'm going to do ac The receipts are there. Simple shout out. Somebody will give you money. When the person tries to follow up with you, you cut the communication. Evidences are there. Wait until this thing starts exploding. We are giving you time to come out. Because we are getting the proofs of, of all these things. We are giving you time to come out and clear your name, David Junior. You cannot move on like this. Green snake in a green grass. So this person says, Good morning, Coco Mama. Someone lied to Mo. Of course, they hate that, I guess, that you were part of Kisha's story. How? I do not know. Haters know that this guy is easily influenced, which is true. You have done a lot for Uncle Mo. I sent the message before. Davi officially announced his new car. In his latest video, he has officially mentioned about it. I like Davi, but he has no touch of the world. Contributions are being channeled through him, and he is rushing to purchase a car. You know? So, contributions are being channeled to him, and he is not even like giving shout outs to these people. He's not even like, you know, you expected him to follow it the way it comes. Just look at follow the boy. But he acts like he's a big boy. Every day he will carry his camera from his house to Okumo. Make the best content, put it on his channel. Make money from there. Collect money from the donors. Collect super chats, even on behalf of Mo, because Mo's money is hanging. Mayogno, very fast, very fast. The same Davidino helped Mayogno to monetize his channel. Why is Davidino not doing the same thing to Mo? Until he made sure that everything came through him. But you know one thing in life? We must answer this person. You cannot avoid it. All these things are what? Vanity upon vanity. There's no money, there's no wealth that you will acquire in this life that you will sit down and be like, I'm satisfied. You will always want more. You will always look for more. That is life. That's why it's always good to be careful of all these things. His uncle insulted. Even Carol was not supposed to be blamed because this is just a mere accusation. Pointing towards the Virginia, not even towards Uncle Mo. What he did, he sent Uncle Mo to put confusion. Because of what? He wants to dust everything under the carpet and pretend like nothing happened. But you forgot that you are answerable to God. You must answer. Even if you don't come out here and talk about it, you must answer to God. Team Wango. Hmm. We will round it up with Team Wango. Team Wango recently, you remember JB gifted D a necklace. So when D left JP in Thailand to Philippines, she was not wearing it. Hmm. Trust her subscribers now. Her subscribers are paying attention to D like nothing else. It's as if they are D's mom. They are acting like Congress mom, I'm telling you. Because what they did, they kept on pushing D. D was on a live stream without that necklace. And they kept on pushing D. And D was like, oh, I can't wear it. It's JP that helps me. And later on, she, in order to pretend, she brought out that necklace, tried it first time, and she could manage to wear it. And I said to myself, what is wrong with this thing? Just now you said that it's difficult to wear. And just now you tried and you got it. Again, D is coming out to say that that chain is broken. So what does that tell you? If you know, you know. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Hmm? <laughs> this relationship of on and off, I don't understand. They are both in Asia now, in different countries. We don't know. Let's see how it goes. Apparently, they are planning to come back to Kenya together. 
because remember their relationship is what on and off on and off fire quench cold hot we wish them all the best the chain is broken finally <laughs> i cannot say anything hmm. but we wish them all the best we wish them what they wish themselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the mwango is busy looking for a partner to travel around because traveling alone is stressful traveling alone is lonely while ivan doesn't want any woman because he wants to travel alone and be free now him sabi all right guys if you watch till this moment do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not tell a friend to tell a friend about modesta lifestyle and i will see you in my Another reaction. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Madam You be my queen. I don't need no rules. It's a love song. I don't need no blues. You be my sugar. I don't need no juice. Baby, loving you is a must. Yeah. Whatever I don't get, I 